Hey everybody, I'm back um, with more stories from the Elvis the Record magazine that I promised you guys this week I would read um, some of the stories and questions and answers from. And first of all, um, I'm not wearing the same clothes for several days in a row. <laughs> I'm not. I recorded all of these in one night. So same pajamas, same pajamas, same night, different videos. Just, just to get that out there. I fresh, take a bath, change clothes every day. <laughs> so, um, this is a story that Papa did for the magazine. It's called Filming Fun. You guys will recognize that picture there. That's Elvis and Ann Ham. This is uh, Follow That Dream. And it's um, a story that Papa did in the magazine for uh, Follow That Dream. So, I'm going to read part of this. Um, and um hope you guys enjoy this is while i was still in high school elvis asked me to go with him on location oh i dropped my <laughs> dropped my camera dropped it sorry all right ready while i was still in high school elvis asked me to go with him on location to film a movie the movie was follow that dream which he did most of in Crystal River, Florida. My daddy gave me permission to go when I was in seventh heaven. I soon got my first look at traveling with Elvis. It was a lot more <clears throat> than I had expected. While I was down in Florida, Elvis asked me to go work for him, and I thought I was dreaming. I had always gone everywhere with him when he would come home to Memphis after a show or a movie, but I was finally old enough to work for him and travel with him. I was the ripe old age of 17. Okay, first of all, can you imagine? So, basically, um, more or less, first job, 17 years old, and it's to work for Elvis. That, how cool is that? <clears throat> this was my very first start of working and traveling with Elvis. We had a lot of fun while Elvis was doing this movie. On location, the working hours were usually longer than in a studio, but sometimes on Sunday we didn't work, so we made the best of it. We would play football on the beach or go out in paddle boats and have races. Crystal River wasn't a very large place, and there weren't that many things to do. Most of the time we would create things to keep us busy, but not always out of trouble. <laughs> one day elvis got us together to do a karate demonstration he was really into it about that time we had gathered up all the boards we could find for him to break we would hold them for him and he would break them with one mighty blow well we ran out of boards and elvis was really impressing this girl so he just went over to the movie props and started in on them it looked so good that we all joined in and in no time we had totally destroyed the props I mean, broken scenery all around us. And they think that those hurricanes are rough down here, Elvis laughed. About that time, the director, Gordon Douglas, walked up. He just started laughing and shaking his head. He was a real fun-loving man, and he said he had more fun with Elvis than he had ever had before. I couldn't believe everything that we did. Elvis had his boat sent down from Memphis. It was an El Dorado cabin cruiser. Elvis used to love boats. We would go out in it a lot while we were there on the ocean in the earlier <clears throat> days elvis was quite a water skier he did not swim but he did love to ski one day we were off work so we all went to wiki walkie and underwater maybe it's wiki wacky an underwater sightseeing show in tampa florida all of his fans turned out to see him after they found out he was there and he could have cared less about the wiki wacky Elvis got a big kick out of that. We did so many things on location. I know the good people of Crystal River will never forget the time that Elvis was in town. He always had a way of leaving a very deep impression on people. One day, the director was looking for someone to double for Anne Helm. She was Elvis's co-star. And they needed someone to double for her in a certain scene. It was a little too dangerous to risk for Elvis and Anne. So, Red was going to do the stunt for Elvis. And they couldn't find a girl that would work for Anne. I was standing around the dressing room with Elvis when Mr. Douglas came over to me. Would you like to do the part, Billy? He asked. I looked around to see who he was talking to. I thought he was kidding at first. You were about the same height, and I think you will work out fine. It pays $150, and that was a lot of money back then. 
I don't look like Anne, I told him. You just leave that to the wardrobe and makeup men, Mr. Douglas told me. Okay, then, I'll, I'll try it. I started thinking about all that money and being in the movie, and I just had to do it. That was my first job as a movie extra. I went with the makeup man, and they did a job on me. I was waiting, <clears throat> I was waiting high cotton. That's a southern expression. Well, they put a wig on me and the blouse like Ann wore, and then they put two balloons under the blouse. <laughs> I had jeans like she wore and her straw hat. Red and I were standing on the side of the road, and this car was supposed to come by and try to hit us. Of course, we were supposed to be Elvis and Ann. Well, the closer the car got, the more nervous I got. I thought, if Red don't hurry up and push me out of the way, I'm just going to have to jump. Well, right at the right second, Red pushed me. Oh. Yep. Yeah. And he jumped. The cameras cut back to Elvis and Ann, and it looked as though it was the two of them. We did the scene in one take, which pleased everyone, especially me. I couldn't wait to get that stuff off. The photographer was there taking steals for advertising on the movie, and he wanted to get some of all of us. I had to pose in that getup. Elvis came around the corner and a... <clears throat> about that time to do a scene. He doubled over laughing at me. That one girl is pretty, but that other girl with her is the ugliest son of a bitch I've ever seen, Elvis said. Of course he was referring to me. That's it, I said, pulling the hat off. Elvis was still laughing as I went in to get out of my costume. He never let me forget that. We really had a lot of fun doing that movie, but then we always had fun on Elvis's movies. He always saw to that. He believed that if everyone felt at ease with each other and relaxed, it made for a much better movie. I believe it did, too. I worked in many of Elvis's movies after that, but I think that was the memorable one for me. Not necessarily the most fun one, but we never did a dull picture because we had Elvis. How fun would it be to have gotten to just be on the set or to be an extra in the movie? That's one of my favorite stories um, that... Papa's told and one of my favorite videos that we did I'll try to attach um part of that video at the end of this one um or as much of it as I can <clears throat> one of my favorite videos that we did early on on the channel was where he told about follow that dream and uh Dublin for Ann Helm and in the beginning of our video Nanny said we have a special guest today it's Miss Ann Helm and Papa was sitting there Excuse me, Papa was sitting there, um, and we had uh, dressed him up in a blouse and a little hat, and we had put grapefruit into a bra and put it on him under the shirt so that, um, you know, he could be the body double, and, um, and he told the story in that, in that get up, um, so, I had a lot of fun doing that video. It was fun. I really enjoy that. I love that picture. Um, I'll put the pictures up that we have from that. And, um, you know, what a, I mean, it's just a fun story. What a cool story. Um, and I always like to share that one. Guys, I hope that y'all have enjoyed this video and enjoyed the story. Um, I appreciate y'all sticking with me again, waiting on Nanny and Papa to get back. I'm hoping to have them back soon, but I appreciate all the love and support y'all are giving, and I will see you guys soon. Um, have a great rest of the week. Take care, and as always, Elvis fans matter. Love y'all. Bye. Hello. <laughs> see, we're recreating the scene that I got lucky enough to do and follow that dream. Make sure to like. Comment, subscribe, and share. Thanks for watching.